You know, to our other top story tonight, the ambitious plans for the South Bay's future transit hub. San Jose kicking off the first public comment period on the massive expansion of Deardon Station. KPI x Len Ramirez in downtown San Jose with some staggering new numbers and tough questions about how to pull it all off, Len. Well, that's right. This public process is just kicking off tonight. Obviously, there is a lot to talk about tonight. People are just starting to sign into the uh, meeting here. A lot of interest in this. And basically, you cannot overstate the importance of this revamp of Diridon Station in San Jose. The tracks and the trains at Diridon Station are crowded for the evening commute, but what you see now, 92 trains a day, is just a fraction of the 300 trains a day that are expected to roll into the station in the years to come. We have the great opportunity to create the Grand Central Station of the West Coast here in San Jose. This is a gift that we can give to future generations. The future station, which will likely keep the old iconic facade, will bring a flurry of new and exclusive connections to San Jose. It's one of the big reasons why Google wants to locate a campus next to it. Diridon Station will be the hub for Caltrain, Amtrak, Ace Train, as well as BART, High Speed Rail, and VTA Light Rail. Eventually, planners say that there could be as many as 140,000 people using Diridon Station every day. If those projections are correct, that would put the Diridon train station just about on equal footing with SFO in terms of the average number of daily passengers. And SFO gets 55 million passengers a year. It has neighborhood groups watching closely to make sure the city and the transit agencies get it right. Hopefully this will be a single coherent station instead of three or four disparate elements. Edward Somm lives in the Shasta neighborhood near the Diridon and commutes on Caltrain. He says the station expansion will impact neighborhoods in expected ways like parking and traffic, but there are still a lot of unknowns. The alignment, whether it comes in at grade through adjacent neighborhoods or whether it comes in overhead, hasn't officially been determined. And honestly has the more cynical in the area figuring that a decision's already been made, it just hasn't officially been published yet. And so there are a lot of unanswered questions for the public right now. This meeting is just getting started here at Westminster Presbyterian Church on the Alameda, just a couple of blocks away from Diridon Station. A lot of the folks who are coming in want to find out more, but this timeline is really just beginning. Uh, the uh, revamp of uh, Diridon Station is expected to take at least 10 years. So a lot of planning, a lot of construction ahead. Alan? Yeah, Lynn, I'm just wondering about how this might play into sort of Silicon Valley's love-hate relationship with, with tech and the people who live there. You know, people who are neighbors can complain but they, and object, but they, they really can't stop it. Well, that's right. There are a lot of people who really welcome the fact that there will be the, all of these uh, connections. Uh, really, the only connections in the Bay Area for things like you know high-speed rail to get down to Southern California. But the problem is the construction, where those tracks are going to go, how it's going to impact people, uh, whether or not those neighborhoods will be impacted by uh, gentrification or even more gentrification that's going on right now. So there are a lot of concerns and a lot of questions. Uh, but San Jose, uh, in terms of the mayor and the city council, they're really uh, behind this. They want to see it move forward as uh, quickly as possible. Yeah, a lot of potential to go many ways. All right, Len Ramirez, thanks for the update.